Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Matt Gates tears this ATF bureaucrat a new one. Mr. Wilcox, you're the witness the Democrats have invited here today. Are you familiar with that report? I am. And does the fact that the ATF broke the law concern you? Um, the report, I believe, supported ATF's action in cataloging records to stop crime. I'll read from it. It says, a technical defect allows ATF agents to access data, including purchaser data, beyond what ATF policy permits. Do you take any umbrage with that conclusion? ATF has been collecting out-of-business records pursuant to a law signed by Ronald Reagan, and President Trump digitized more records than any other president. I don't care who did it. I'm just worried about the impact on my citizens. And I would acknowledge there may be Republican presidents who didn't do enough in the 80s to protect our gun rights. But on this finding, the ATF had to delete 252 million records, didn't they? So this is a tool that's helped solve 50% of crime. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did they have to delete 252 million records? What I know about this tool is that it's Th a that's how I'm asking tool. you. Did they have to delete? You said you're aware of the report. Is that conclusion correct? They had to delete 252 million records. I'm not aware of that line, but what I'm aware okay. of is the tool. Well, I, I'll, I'll, tool. I'll represent to you that that's what had to happen. The fact that the government collected 252 million records that was beyond the law, beyond policy. Never approved according not to me, not to my fellow Republicans, but to the GAO. Wow, that is deeply disturbing. 250 million records had to be deleted. That many? And why? I would love someone to give some answers. And if you could, give some answers down below because we need them. We, we need them after hearing this. Should that be concerning to us, that scope of records being collected? ATF's collection of out-of-business records was fully compliant with the law. That's the not what the GAO said, so you disagree with the GAO report. Well, there's two points they made. One is the collection of out-of-business paper records that, that FFLs keep. The second piece was the collection of electronic records that FFLs keep. And what the GAO said was they, the electronic records were not being converted sufficiently. And that's right. what ATF so that's fixed why they had to, delete to become them. in compliance they had illegally, with Because the they had gone beyond their authority. You see, that's, that's the concern of my constituents. When they go beyond their authority, and you may find those things virtuous, but no one elected you. They elected us to make the laws. And when we make the laws and they don't follow them, then people's rights get diminished. Another area is this issue of the arm braces. Now, in Mr. Wilcox's testimony, he says that an arm brace makes a weapon more powerful. Mr. Bosco, you know a lot about arm braces, don't you? I do. Do arm braces make firearms more powerful? They do not. They do not. And this is the second big point that Gates is wanting to get at here, because he's wanting to prove that the ATF either A, doesn't know what it's doing, or B, does, and the Biden administration doesn't care. And what he's trying to point out is the ATF is banning things for no good reason and making a lot of Americans felons by definition. Hey y'all, as we know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket, right? So that's why I'm partnering over with my friends at Colonial Metals Group who will help diversify your portfolio. And what they'll do is they'll set up for you a self-directed IRA account. You'll have direct access to your assets. You'll be able to see what all's going on. And it doesn't matter what the stock market does or what often happens, what the government does your assets will be protected. So let the team of experts over at Colonial Metals Group help secure your account and your family's future today. There's a link in the description below. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like that, there's a 1-800 number you can call. And most importantly though, is the kicker. They'll throw in a safe and possibly up to $10,000 in US silver to help you get things started. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Does it concern you that the witness that the Democrats brought would, would make such a claim that is, is obviously disproven by any utilization of those arm braces? I hope that my testimony today can help everyone here understand that the brace does nothing to make the weapon any more dangerous than it already is. And so when you've got the ATF going beyond their authority, collecting 252 million records that they have to destroy, well, that can just be explained because they're doing their best. But when Americans get inadvertently converted to felons because the ATF has exceeded their authority, there is no such grace for them, is there, Ms. Ware? 
Uh, that would seem to be the case under the, the recent policy change to zero tolerance. Zero tolerance for our fellow Americans when they're trying to exercise their rights and protect their liberties, but all the tolerance in the world for a corrupt bureaucracy that is violating the law, exceeding their authority, and collecting records that they have no business collecting. So let, let me get this straight. The organization that, that is the ATF, which is probably the worst run in Washington, thinks that it has the ability to delete a whole bunch of records, and not just a whole bunch, 252 million different records. Which means that that's what they have on file for different registra registries of guns. At least that's what I assume. I, I wish I knew the full thing, and I think that's what Gates is trying to get at here. But then you have the issue of a stock, a stock bump ban where if Americans have added on this weapon, and because of the zero tolerance policy, by definition, if you show up somewhere and you still have this stock on, you're a felon. So Congress didn't pass a law. Granted, this was based on a law from decades ago, so the precedent is really shady at best. And then if it turns out you have this on your weapon, you are automatically a felon. So. And let's actually work backwards. I, I wish Matt Gates had worked backwards on this, or at least that's what it seems to me. If they have destroyed so many other records, that means they might know which Americans are felons right now, and these Americans would probably have no clue that they are now committing a crime. So it's not an updated rule by Congress, it's an updated rule by the ATF, which means it's not really accountable to the American people which means that it's the bureaucracy that's running things and not Congress. That is a terrible power imbalance that has just proven time and time again that the Congress has less and less oversight and actual power, and it's pretty much only there to uh, funnel money back to their districts. That's essentially what congressmen do now. And it's the executive branch that tells everyone what to do, and it's the Supreme Court that says, yes or no, you can't actually do that. That is an inherently unbalanced system. It might be a three-ring circus, but boy, is it a circus. And that's what Matt Gates is pointing out, that the ATF is far too powerful, has been given way too much size and scope, and has zero to... No, yes, just zero oversight in general. It's a monstrosity, and it needs to get under control. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrol. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one, and until then... Y'all have a good one.